my relationship with my mother was really, really bad. Like, if she was in one room and I came into the room, she would get up and leave. And if I was in the room and she came into the room, I would get up and leave. Like, we couldn't be in the same room together. When I was 15, I got into my first relationship. And this guy was literally the love of my life. I told him everything. I gave all my trust and dependence on him. I felt special around him. I felt loved. And I didn't feel that at home. So whenever things were going on at home, I turned to him. It got to a point where we was in our relationship and where he began to speak about sex. I always had this understanding, even though I wasn't brought up in the church, I always had this understanding that I wouldn't have sex until I was married or when I was like 50, like I had this understanding. And when I explained this to him, that's when I saw a different side to him. He became more abusive with his words, said things to put me down. He was starting to show a character that I didn't see before. But because I was so blinded in love, I just looked past it. And because I gave him all my trust and dependence, I didn't care so much of what he said to me I just cared that he was by my side then one day I had a really bad argument with my mum it was the worst argument I ever had with my mother and that day she told me not to leave my house but because I was angry against her because I was I was like fuming against her because of the argument that we just had I disobeyed and I just left that day I went to see my boyfriend and we met up in a place that we've never met up before. He, he said that we was going to go to his friend's house and I was just like, okay. And when I met him, um, when I met him, I was there being hysterical, just talking to him about my mum, about what, we, what just happened with my mum. And he was there with only one thing on his mind. I looked into his eyes and I saw him looking at me deeply as if I was a piece of meat and then afterwards he came, tried to come to me, tried to kiss me and that's when he became aggressive and then he raped me. After that day my life turned upside down. I became so filled with complexes that every time I looked myself in a mirror, I began to cry. I became depressed to the point I stopped eating. I started starving myself. And I literally felt like I had no hope for the future. And there was a point where I began to shave my hair because I just didn't love myself anymore. Every time I did it, I got the razors and I shaved my hair. I felt like I was ripping myself because I couldn't see, I couldn't accept to be myself anymore. I was that student that was very, very intelligent always getting A's, A stars, predicted all of these grades. But when I left secondary school, I literally just went by scraping all my GCSEs. My mind became filled with suicidal thoughts. There were many times where I wanted to kill myself. There were many times where I wanted to take an overdose with pills, but I, was, I never had the courage to actually do it. But there was many times where I would cross on busy roads hoping that a car would hit me because I couldn't deal with the pain anymore. A few years later, I started suffering with spiritual attacks, which at the time I didn't know what was going on. I would go to sleep and I would feel like something was strangling me. I would go to sleep feeling like I'd just been raped. I would go to sleep. Um, as if a car just hit me and I'd wake up with the pain each day as it came I just saw my life getting worse and worse and worse and worse and I just didn't know how to come out of it 
Then I was invited to the BYG. I remember the very first Sunday I came, I came to a Sunday live, and everyone here was so happy. And I compared myself to them and I was just like, why are they so happy? But there was something here, there was something different about this place. And I went home that day saying, I saying to myself, I want to come back here. The words that was written above the altar said, Jesus Christ is the Lord. And those words stuck in my mind. So I came back the following Sunday. A few weeks later, I started attending the Sunday morning services. And I started attending the real talk. And every meeting, every preaching, literally, that was a part of the meeting that was for me. The simple fact that I felt like every meeting was targeted to me. I knew that God wanted me to be here. So I kept coming. I heard about being sincere. I heard about opening up. I heard about having a relationship with God and I wanted, I truly wanted, but I, because of everything that I've been through and I went for it alone, I kind of had this resentment towards God as if he was the reason why I went through everything that I went through. And that was blocking me from having a relationship with God. One day I did decide to open up I spoke to one of the assistants and I I literally poured myself out and told her everything that I went through. But then I knew that she couldn't help me the way that God wanted to help me. So I had to learn to be able to open myself before God. I started writing letters to God. And when I was at home, I would read them out loud to him for me to be able to like express how I was feeling and for me to be able to open myself before him. There was one day I came before the altar and I literally poured myself out before God. I told him everything from A to Z and that day I was free from my past. The VYG helped me so much with me understanding that God loves me and he has a greater plan for me and everything I went through wasn't God's plan it wasn't his will however I can now turn my past to glorify his name and the moment I understood the love that God had for me I didn't love I didn't need love from anyone else The moment I understood that God loved me was the moment I was able to move forward in my life. And now today I'm free from my past, free from the complexes, free from the suicidal thoughts. Me and my mum have a really good relationship now. I love her to bits. And today I love the woman of God that I am now.